Yo, what's up guys, Rashad here from rmbsingerlessons.com Alright, I'm going to talk about stabilizing your pitch Pitch is really complicated, right? The thing about pitch is Sounding really good, sounding like a professional singer Is actually a very high level in someone's pitch accuracy So it's not just, I'm singing the right note But why don't I sound amazing when I sing a song? You are singing the right note, most likely, okay? But when you're changing between the 300 or so notes that happen in a song, are you changing across all those notes super accurately? Because there's a lot of changes, there's a lot of chance for mistakes. Let's say, for example, you're playing a song on a piano, right? Happy birthday to you. So you're going to play that melody, right? Think of it like this. Here's the chance for error. When you go from one note to the next, there's a chance you might fumble and hit the, another note instead along the way when you're on your way from the first note to the next note. Same with the vocals, except the difference with vocals is there isn't a key that you're hitting the same way. It's not as obvious like it is on a piano where there's just a key and you either hit it or you don't. With vocals, your pitch is something you have to build so that it's steady and stable. You have to create that steadiness. It doesn't already exist in your voice. So you have to make it happen. It's kind of a strength. Normally, an, a, a beginner singer won't just be able to go really steadily. Okay? So being able to hold a note very steady is the first. It's the beginning stage to being able to sing many notes steadily together. Happy birthday to you. Feel, feel how steady it sounds? Now, it's hard for me to demonstrate an unsteady note because I've already developed the skill so much. So it's hard to not be strong anymore, if you know what I mean. So, well, when you, you hear it, when you hear a beginner singer, it's kind of like, ha, 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 ha. it's kind of like unsteady. Ha, Okay, it's hard for me to demonstrate it again, like I said, because it's like giving me a heavy weight and expecting me to not be able to lift it, but I can lift it now. It's like I've developed that strength. I can't act like I can't lift it anymore. It's hard for you to see that. All right, so the way you develop steady notes is by holding a note for a while. I used to hold it till my breath runs out. That's an exercise I used to do. Okay, so you can use a piano app just on a on a phone I use my piano I usually get all my students to download this before they do a lesson and uh, you have a piano app so they download this and they download Amazing Slowdowner and what you do is you just play a note on the piano let's just go all white keys okay we're gonna go from A A so you just hold it out uh, uh, and you just play it on the piano as well. Okay? Uh, I might go a bit higher. But let's let's go from the next A up. Uh, Until, you, until your breath runs out, maybe. I, I didn't do it all the way to my breath ran out, but you get an idea. You get the idea. And what you're practicing is holding it steady. You play the keyboard, so it, it helps you stay on track of what the note is. Okay? Once you're good with that, take away the keyboard and do it alone. Uh, and just check the note. Uh, Really steady, right? It sounds as steady the whole way. Now, it didn't always sound like that. I had to build that skill. Okay, so I want you to go and practice that. Can you just hold a note really steady? And watch what happens. The longer you try to hold it, the harder it feels. So you want to build that skill to hold it longer and longer and longer. And I want you to do that on all the white keys up until the next A, for example. Uh, uh, and then B. Uh, same thing. Uh, up until the next A. So work on all of them, A to A. If you can't go that high, don't worry. 
you can start lower if you want and um, that's practicing your note stability uh, ha happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday happy birthday all the runs all the note changes even the vibrato it's all completely stable and controlled I'm choosing exactly when I want to do everything I'm doing have a brado run I'm picking and choosing everything I'm doing because I've got the foundation of holding a stable note all right then the next step is moving between those notes in a stable way quickly which is the next step Okay, it's the first step. Can you hold a stable note? I'm Rashad Hayek from rnbsingerlessons.com. Hope this exercise helps you. Do this every day until you can hold the note the way I was holding it. Okay? See you next time. Bye.